Hello guys, Mukas here. This is the fifth episode of my Killstreak Analysis series and this time I'm dropping on Xenotech Labs from a beacon that was placed on a nearby tree. So the NC was attacking the base from Region Truck Garrison and uh, we were sieging it uh, from outside with vehicles but the control point inside wasn't flipped yet. So here in the blue area we can see the obvious path that uh, my allies are gonna take. So they only have two options, the south entrance or the north entrance. Uh, in the red area is the uh, path of the enemies from their spawn to the control point. The hot spots are indicated by these little explosions. So as a light assault I must absolutely avoid this red area and instead I'm, I'm gonna go on this building so I'll have a nice view on the, all the reinforcements that are coming from the, the TR spawn. So I choose the light assault because it's uh, pretty hard to maneuver on the ground at Xenotech Labs and there is some awesome trees that make uh, light assault flanking very easy in this base. So my plan is to intercept the TR reinforcements that are coming from the spawn and uh, harass the ones that are close to the control point so my allies can uh, take the point easier. It's also my obvious mission to clear the rooftops for my allies. So I, I drop on that tree and I immediately go for the building to, the, to this nice cover. I kill the first cloaker and because I have a still half of my magazine I, I hold my reload until I turn around and disables me to kill this uh, light assault without having to switch to my secondary. So I run to cover, reload and start scanning the A point area. After that I remember to check my 6 because I know that any light assault can come behind me from their spawn. So I take out these guys and take a quick look at their spawn to see if there is more coming. So I don't see anyone so I go back to the A point area. I stick the corners even on the roofs so I have cover from behind and the left. The, the minimap is indicating me a lot of activity inside the building below me. So I decide to go for a flank from uh, the north entrance of this building because this is the least guarded entrance because we are coming from the southwest. Uh, I see this cloaker, I wanted to chase him but I see other guys so I run to cover and get to a good position before I engage. And uh, when engaging a heavy assault, uh, be sure to aim for the head uh, if uh, it's possible. Especially at close range because uh, they're gonna rape you with their shield and their L LMG if you don't take them out quickly. So I continue my flank and I have to be very quick because I know that enemies can come from behind me. So I finally get behind these two campers, I take them out with weapon and knife to save ammo and I see another big group uh, down the stairs uh, but I'm, I have to reload so I just chuck a nade and uh, flank while I'm reloading. The grenades get me 3 kills and I managed to finish off the two guys. And this is a really nice opportunity because I find ammo. If I can refill to the maximum I can continue the skill streak. So I try to securize the ammo pack. I check the outside quickly, the inside, the AC disabled assault. So I take him out and then I go back to my position on the roof. I'm checking if there is anyone any light assault coming in and then I go to this corner because I know that uh, it's a very populated uh, area because uh, it's the way out of their spawn so I camp this corner and I managed to take out a lot, a lot of guys I try to make sure that the target is gonna die if I engage I don't want to let uh, any target wounded that will uh, then uh, uh, spot my position So I see enemy tra tracers, so I know my position is compromised. So I go to the other side of the building and see if there's not another target. So you notice that when I'm shooting, I rely a lot on the 3D spotting. So I make sure that uh, I spot and refresh spot whenever I can, so I can track my target easier. So right here, I actually I slip from the building. 
I try to save the day with the chest pack, but I spot this light assault. I take him out, but I'm forced to go down to the ground level where I take out these two guys, but then I, I get taken out. So this is the end of this 22 kill streak, guys. Uh, for the loadout that I'm using, uh, I have the GT7F uh, for my carbine with the one time scope, soft point ammo, a flash suppressor, and advanced laser sight. The um, secondary is the NS44 revolver. For the suit slot, I'm using Nano Eve 4 or 5, I'm not sure. My jump jets are maxed out, and I have C4 for my utility slot. So as a light assault, I like to have the GG7F carbine for its uh, awesome TTK. With this weapon you can go head to head with heavy assaults and uh, have a really good chance to take them out. If you do headshots, you can take them out. The only downside is that uh, it's hard to take two, two guys out with one mag and the reload time is very long so you have to really time your reloads the better possible. And uh, you have to make sure that uh, if you took down a target with less than half a mag, you should hold your reload until you get to a safe place because you never know what's, uh, what's gonna happen. So if we review what made this kill streak possible, is first the spawn beacon, like often, and second the drop on this building that enables me to have a really nice line of sight on all the defenders that try to get to the A point. Third point is that I d never stay at the ground level. So I, I always have the hate advantage, I, I only have to deal with uh, other light assault. And the fourth point is that uh, I have to check my six often, because I know that light assaults can get uh, from their spawn to this building. So fifth point is that flanking at the right place that enables me to take out uh, seven guys without even taking damage. Sixth element is that resupplying uh, on this enemy ammo pack that enables me to take out a few more targets on the roof right after that. And that's it guys. I finally die because I uh, break the third uh, element that I just announced. I, I get down to the ground level to take out these two infiltrators and I get uh, got caught from behind. So that's the end of the fifth episode. I hope you enjoyed guys. Uh, I would love to hear your feedback to know if you enjoy to see other classes or if you like the slow motions when I aim so you can have a better idea of how I aim because it's very difficult to describe with words. So that's it guys, have a good day and see you in the next video. Say hello!